So you wanna lose weight and get in shape, but what is the best way to stay motivated so you don't get a few days or weeks in and fall off the wagon and end up sat back in front of your TV eating chip and dip every evening? Well, fear not, I'm gonna share with you my simple five-step process for getting motivated to lose that extra weight and most importantly, keep it off forever. Coach Ben here from If Nutrition, and for those of you who don't know me yet, I specialize in helping busy guys over 30 easily lose the belly and gain muscle without being tied to the gym, eating food they hate, or doing mind-numbing cardio. So if that sounds like you, then make sure you subscribe to my channel and let's get into it. So step number one, find your inspiration. Maybe you're fed up with being tired all the time and having no energy. Maybe you've been told you're on the verge of type two diabetes, or maybe you have it already. Or maybe you're just fed up with not being able to keep up with your kids, or you've realized that if you don't make some serious changes to your health, you won't be there to see them grow up. Or maybe it's just that you simply wanna get into the best shape of your life so you can hit the beach or the pool this summer with a newfound confidence. Whatever that is, you need to focus on the pain and burn it into your brain. And now focus on where you wanna be, the positive side of it, that positive image, and burn that into your brain too. Write it down so when you need that motivation, that drive to kick you in the ass, you can pull it to the front of your brain. This is gonna give you that initial drive to get you set, to get you started, to gain that initial momentum. Step two, you need to use a system and strategies that you can stick to. And by this I mean from a nutrition and a workout point of view. Don't go cutting out carbs if you like carbs. Don't start running if you hate running. You need to create a routine that you can build into your life and how busy that is and stick to long term, not just for a week or two. With your nutrition, you need to make sure that you are still able to eat foods that you like and also pick foods that are gonna fill you up, which will minimize your chances of wanting to add in extra unplanned snacks or binges. If you're already eating foods that you like, then you aren't going to feel like you're going without, so you're not going to need to binge or add in any extra snacks. Also with the exercise side of things, you wanna add in resistance training in a way that suits your life. So if this means that it's training from home, then train from home. If you prefer to train in the gym, then do that. If you wanna get your training done while you're on a Zoom meeting with your video turned off and your audio on mute, then do it that way. The most important thing is to build it around what you enjoy and what you will stick to long term. Step three, track your progress and be realistic. Do not, I repeat, do not rely just on the mirror. It will not give you an accurate account of your progress and you simply won't see it, you will just forget. Instead, take a picture once a week in the mirror, front on and side on. You can also then compare these two pictures over time to see your real progress where your brain can't trick you. You can of course weigh yourself too, but just bear in mind that you need to do it at the same time and in the same state every day. I suggest first thing in the morning, before you get dressed, after you've been to the toilet. Step four, consistency over perfection. Okay, so you missed a gym session, just make it up the next day. You've had a bit of a crazy day, you went out for food and ended up going way over just one day. Just get back on track the next day and don't sweat it. If you really wanna make it up, just cut the calories back a bit that day. Just don't do it every other day. It's all about the journey, the long term and one bad day isn't gonna do anything terrible. Like I say, just get back on track the next day and be consistent. People put things off waiting for perfection or they break their perfect routine and they feel they've ruined everything, call it a day. But this is crazy. You don't just go and crush your car because you've got a flat tire. So don't crush your diet or workout either just because you've missed one session or one meal. So step five, reward yourself. Life is too short to cut out everything you like. And with the right strategy, you simply don't need to. I like to go by the 80-20 principle. Eat good, minimally processed, close to source foods 80% of the time. And then the other 20% of the time, you can just eat foods that might not be so nutritionally dense and good for you. But this way, your body is getting what it needs and you're getting what you want, meaning that you're not gonna feel like you need to cheat on your diet because you've built it not only around the foods that you need to hit your goals and that your body needs, but also the foods 
that you like to eat, so you're not going to want to snack, cheat, or binge. It's a win-win. Remember guys, you can only stay motivated for so long if you're not seeing results. So it's important to set yourself up right for success. Not short term, but for long term success. And if you follow my simple five step process, you will succeed and you will be able to keep motivated. Also, if you are looking to achieve your best body ever without having to live in the gym, eat food you hate or do mind numbing cardio, then click the link in the description of this video and check out my brand new free mastermind training that explains to the three keys that every busy guy over 30 needs to know if they truly want to unlock their best body ever, regain their health and get their energy back. And I'll see you in the next video.